there, and uh, you know, there's some speculations about a lot of those squat lobsters that might be that actually neat, huh? uh, <laughs> consuming wood. Really <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's why I'd post that question earlier. If there's anything uh, based in. on how much how much life you see on the wreck and the condition of the wreck, whether that gives you any kind of indications about its age. What is he trying to disguise himself? Throw up a smoke screen. No, that's a cool. silk screen. Look at that. This guy is very active, isn't he? <laughs> oh my goodness. Turn he's very, of, very smart. He, he's trying to hide. Yeah. He destroyed a ship and now he's getting out of here. That is very interesting. I've never seen that before. I sometimes feel like that too. Behavior in response to the ROV's presence? I don't know. I haven't seen something like this. He's just very upset that uh, he couldn't <laughs> take that hiding spot from the other octopus. What is he doing? So Dan, you said you haven't seen this kind of behavior from an octopus before? Yeah, that's right. I, I haven't seen it. Are octopus known to burrow, or is he just trying to create a smoke screen to disguise himself? So I point out that we have a little informal thing we like to call Octopus Friday in the uh, Office of Ocean Exploration Research. And uh, so they've been, through social media, being posting uh, images of octopuses we've, or octopus we've seen uh, on Fridays. And uh, we've been fortunate enough to see uh, what we think are three different individuals today. They all look to be the same um, species or at least genus, uh, but... Uh, uh, this is our, we believe, to be our third octopus of the day. So very exciting Octopus Friday for us here on the Okeanos Explorer. I feel like we should let him go, but I'm also curious to see what he's going to do next. <laughs> Definitely. Wish we could see that other one. It looked bigger. Hello, Mike Becky on here. Hey, Mike, I was hoping you were going to call in. Uh, perfect, an octopus expert. I uh, I couldn't resist it, um, but I'm actually in a car. I'm waiting at, <laughs> at a bank in line. But, uh, uh, that was a remarkable. Uh, finally, it, it uh, got out into the sediment, and, and it looked like it was burying itself. And at you that point, I had to stop watching because I'm on my cell phone. <laughs> so that I could call in and, and tell you Hold how, there. how great that video was. Well, it, we, uh, we're continuing to uh, video that individual, and it is continuing to um, use its tentacles to sort of uh, dig into the sediment. And I'm not sure if it's it's burying itself or just trying to camouflage or, or, or what exactly, but it's it's continuing that behavior where it's sort of digging in the in the sediment, creating a bit of a, okay. a pit around it looks itself. looks like burying behavior, but I've never seen that in a deep-sea octopod before. Mm. Although we've seen octopods that were partly buried, so only their head and eyes were uh, extending outward. But uh, it was a, that was a different species. You're going tighter? But again, that, the behavior Hold in that uh, observation was just remarkable. Well, I'm glad you got a chance to see that, and uh, we're even more glad you got a chance to call in and, and talk to us a little bit about it. Uh, yeah. Did we just lose live broadcast? 